Hi everyone, welcome to Simple Concepts. I am your educator Niyati Pur. Guys, in today's video, we will be discussing about black money and the issues related to it. So, wherein we will discuss about the tax havens, offshore financial centers, money laundering, hawala system, etc. So, before we start up with the actual lecture, let me tell you all. आपको अगर आपका यूपीएससी सी एस सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन का या फिर ट्वेंटी 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 वन का अगर आपको सिलेक्शन इंश्योर करना है देन डू टेक द अन अकेडमी प्लस सब्सक्रिप्शन वेर इन देर आर थ्री कॉम्प्रहेंसिव बैचेस दैट आर गोइंग ऑन फॉर वन फॉर वन होल ईयर फॉर योर कम्प्लीट प्रिपरेशन ऑल्सो यहाँ पे आपको बायलैंग्वेज जी एस कोर्सेस अवेलेबल हैं हिंदी जी एस के बैच कोर्सेस अवेलेबल हैं और इंग्लिश जी एस के बैच कोर्सेस अवेलेबल हैं दे आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम एथ ऑफ जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वेर एन यू विल गेट फुल सिलेबस कवर प्रिलिम और मेन्स के टेस्ट सीरीज भी होंगे अलॉन्ग विद एनालिसिस आपको डेडिकेटेड डाउट क्लियरिंग सेशन रखे जाएंगे वहां पे बाई द एक्सपर्ट्स ऑल्सो आपको इंटरव्यू प्रिपेरेशन के लिए भी मदद मिलेगी और अगर आपको सब्सक्रिप्शन लेना है अन अकेडमी का प्लस सब्सक्रिप्शन और अगर आपको डिस्काउंट चाहिए हो देन यू कैन यूज द नो दिस कोड विच इज शोइंग ऑन ऑन योर स्क्रीन इट इज एस आई एम पी एल ई वाई टी ये अगर आप कोड यूज करते हो देन यू कैन यू आर गेटिंग टेन परसेंट ऑफ डिस्काउंट फॉर द एंटायर सब्सक्रिप्शन ऑल्सो अन अकेडमी का यूपीएससी चैंपियनशिप चल रहा है वेर इन देर आर ऑल इंडिया फ्री मॉक टेस्ट विच आर गिवेन फॉर यूपीएससी सी एस सी प्रिलिम्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी और बहुत ही बड़े एक्सपर्ट्स जैसे कि राकेश वर्मा सर मृणाल पटेल सर आतिश माथुर सर जैसे कि जैसे वाले यू नो मेंटर्स आपको अवेलेबल है और अभी अगर आप एनरोल करते हो देन इट इज फॉर द फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट ऑल्सो गाइज अगर आप जो भी हम यहाँ पे सिलेबस डिस्कस करते हैं यूपीएससी से रिलेटेड अगर उनके आपको नोट्स चाहिए हो इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पीडीएफ देन यू कैन ज्वाइन आर टेलीग्राम ग्रुप द लिंक ऑफ द ग्रुप इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो इन एनी केस इफ यू आर अनेबल टू फाइंड द लिंक या फिर अगर वो लिंक वर्क नहीं हो रहा है देन यू कैन जस्ट गो टू योर टेलीग्राम अकाउंट वहां पर जाकर अगर आप सिंपल कॉन्सेप्ट यूपीएससी के नाम से अगर आप सर्च करते हो देन यू विल बी एबल टू फाइंड आ ग्रुप वहां पर हम बहुत हेल्दी डिस्कशन चलते हैं वहां पर क्विजेस हम सॉल्व करते हैं सो डू सो डू ज्वाइन इन टू आर टेलीग्राम ग्रुप हैविंग सेट दैट लेट स्टार्ट आर टूडेज लेक्चर सो गाइज एज वी ऑल नो इंडिया इज ब्लैक इकोनॉमी इज यू नो हेमोगियस एंड इट इज वेरी मच कॉम्प्लेक्स सो इट हैज बीन अ मेजर इशू सिंस इंडिपेंडेंस एंड रिसेंटली इट इज ऑन बॉयल ड्यू टू द सिविल सोसाइटी एक्टिविज्म एंड इंटरवेंशन बाय द सुप्रीम कोर्ट आप जानते होंगे फ्रॉम 2015 ये सारे इश्यूज चल रहे हैं सो इट इज हार्ड टू प्रिसाइजली डिफाइन ब्लैक मनी लेट अलोन रिलायबल एस्टिमेशन ऑफ इट्स क्वांटम बट टाइम एंड अगेन देर हैव बीन अटेम्प्ट टू क्वांटिफाई इट विद एस्टिमेट्स रेंजिंग फ्रॉम 10 परसेंट टू हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ द जी Black money minances is through more in developing countries, but developed countries, uh, they too have their shadow of you know black economies. यानी कि बस ये developing countries में of course ये issue बहुत ज़्यादा चल रहा है black money से related. But जो developed country है उनमें भी ये issue कम नहीं है. वहाँ पे भी similar situations arise होती है. Just that वहाँ की economy और ज़्यादा stable है. So और यू नो ग्लोबल इकोनॉमी का उन पे उतना ज्यादा प्रभाव नहीं पड़ता जितना कि डेवलपिंग इकोनॉमी पे पड़ता है व्हेन इट कम्स टू ब्लैक मनी सो फ्यू इयर्स बैक द फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस हैड बीन देयर इन द वेस्ट दैट हैज फोर्स ह्यूज नंबर ऑफ लेड ऑफ इट इट यू नो इट हैड टू ले ऑफ द एम्प्लॉज टू बी द फ्री वर्कर्स एंड टू नॉट टू रिपोर्ट द इनकम्स सो एस्टिमेट सजेस्ट दैट यूएस हैज बीन टू ट्रिलियन डॉलर्स यू नो ऑफ दे हैड दिस शेडो ऑफ इकोनॉमी विच कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड नार्कोटेक्स गैम्बलिंग प्रोस्टिट्यूशन एक्सेट्रा एंड द लॉस ऑफ यू एस एक्सचेकर इज यू एस डॉलर फाइव हंड्रेड बिलियन फॉर यूरोप अनरिपोर्टेड इनकम इज पुट एट यूरो वन ट्रिलियन सो हवे वो फॉर डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज प्रॉब्लम इज मोर सीरियस एंड मैग्निफिकेंट as they you know have limited resources and uphill task and uh, uphill task of bringing social development uh, they have weak institutions such as banking system enforcement mechanisms etc which are opaque and to some extent corrupt and this is exploited to the fullest by the evaders and the criminals alike so generally speaking black money is one which is ownership or uh, in which ownership is fully or uh, partially illegal 
सो गाइज दिस इलिगैलिटी इज प्राइमरिली बिकॉज इट वेंट कंसील्ड फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट वॉयलेटिंग लॉज ऑफ कंट्री देर कैन बी टू सर्कमस्टेंसेज वन इज वेयर सोर्सेस एक्टिविटी ऑफ दैट मनी इज ऑल्सो इलिसिट एंड अदर वेयर सोर्स एक्टिविटी वॉज लेजिटिमेट बट इनकम वॉज कंसील्ड फ्रॉम टेक्सेशन अथॉरिटीज सो इन फॉर्मर केसेस द एक्टिविटीज कैन बी स्मगलिंग ऑफ यू नो arms or drugs etc or human trafficking for that matter gambling or any other activity which is prohibited by law now incomes from such activities are concealed with great effort as avoiding tax is not main interest but safeguard of that activity is on the other hand second type of activity is legitimate and its income is uh, you know taxable and it is concealed only to avoid tax or any civil law of the land now government claims that its second type of income which is dominant and its treatment of two types of obviously different so in first type there has been or uh, there has to be zero toleration but in other it attempts to pressure or pressurize and at least coerce evaders to pay the tax now uh, it should be noted that not all the uncounted money is black money it is only that black which is which was legally required to be disclosed but was not disclosed now income tax provisions permits income below certain threshold without the disclosure now majority population of our country earns below the threshold and doesn't report its income for example we can say tea shops then small snacks bar then agricultural income etc now these doesn't need to be need disclosure it may be called as shadow economy and it's very near impossible to distinguish it from black money much of the shadow economy doesn't even get calculated or calculation of gdp or for that matter we can say um, the national income etc now tax evasion problems has been there from colonial times and till 1960s it was not this rampant as income tax rates were around 30% in 1970s due to the repeated droughts heavy investment in agriculture and after effects of war government increased maximum income tax rates to the level of 85% of surcharge of 15% This resulted in backlash from business who found it compelling to conceal income and this was the time when capital flight from India to low tax countries more uh, particularly to tax havens picked up This was also the time when strong underground networks such as hawala were developed after the uh, after the LPG reforms tax rates were brought down around 30% but this time strong networks has already they had already been developed so people were aware of the weakness of the government which historically failed to bring evaders to the books now let us consider the post lpg era this era witnessed expansion of black money and also escalation of offshore money flow main reason of this was globalization as it reduced the cost and regulation over transfer of funds abroad after this there was increasing flow of transactional investment and multinational companies started mushrooming stock markets be, uh, became robust and they attracted the fis now this all resulted in increasing ground uh, round tripping of the investment so main sources of black money are crime corruption then counterfeit or fake notes and the tax evasions now let us look into what are these tax havens etc so speaking about the tax havens generally tax havens are countries with small jurisdiction which deliberately pursue policy of no or very low taxation they allow great deal of secrecy to companies and investors operating in their jurisdiction over time these countries become hubs of money both black and white money based uh, based in these areas companies operate their operation in other countries and try to shift incidence of tax incidences in these areas speaking about offshore financial centers 
so some of the old text heavens have adopted the more beginning uh, you know uh, designation of offshore financial centers or we can call it as ofc and tend to describe themselves as financial centers specializing in non residential financial transactions but um, they are just extension of old tax havens thus many offices uh, have the the next the following characteristics the jurisdiction uh, that have financial institutions engaged primarily in business with non residents financial system with external assets and liabilities out of the proportion to domestic to domestic financial intermediation designed to finance domestic in economic and the centers which provide some of all the following opportunities low or zero tax taxation you know moderate or light financial regulations or we can say uh, banking secrecy and anonymity example the uh, cayman islands the british virgin islands and mauritius so vodafone hutch deal can be taken as as an example uh, so in indian operation of hong kong based hutchison was owned by its company registered in cayman island so to transfer indian operations to vodafone it simply transferred share of its company in the name of vodafone so vodafone became owner of indian operations while transaction took place in cayman island in this hutchison gained huge profits out of the indian operation but they escaped the trans uh, taxation so when indian authorities asked this cayman company for book of the accounts their answer was um, as per laws of cayman island they don't need to maintain uh, they don't need to maintain books of accounts so that was it now let us uh, briefly look into the concept of money laundering what all happens in this so once black money is generated it is under continuous threat of being discovered by investigation or tax agencies so it will attract penalty and can unearth some of the lucrative scandals illegal ventures scams crimes etc now further one who holds this money can't be freely invested in any legal ventures which requires disclosure of source of income so to get rid of these risk and problem she she or he will attempt to you know convert this money in legitimate money now this is done by exploiting loopholes in law uh, undergoing series of transactions or investing money in some physical asset like gold or land so after these efforts it is hard for authority to trace the money trail and original income some of the techniques which are adopted we will briefly look into it uh, so the first one is investment in land or flats etc so majority of black money in india remains invested in immovable property In fact this is primary reason behind recent real estate boom aapne dekha hoga ki kis tarah se jo metropolitan city hai wahan pe single bedroom agar flat ki agar aap rate dekho to it has went on till 1 crore almost so that is the reason now in our country state government issues circle rates of immovable property these are minimum rates on which a transaction in land can take place but it is generally far below the market place which leaves ample of scope to the or to this entire concept of money laundering second is that one can easily invest illegal money in gold and claim that it was inherited or gifted so most of the people do that in our society now uh, the next one is that uh involvement of banks couple of uh, year involvement of banks you know uh, the way banks get involved in this entire scene so couple of years back employees of reputed international banks were caught on camera agreeing to handle black money allotting them lockers and transferring this money abroad now it is illegal that they violated uh, know your customer norms of rbi used multiple accounts on launder money of that of that client now fourth one is that laundering by corporate so while issuing uh, shares debentures bonds etc to the public promoters can use their own black money to subscribe securities of their own company and turn it into usable white money so a reputed indian company a uh, few years back had issued optionally fully convertible debentures 
uh, to public and collected money to the tune of rupees fourteen thousand crore. SBI found irregularities. and order company and ordered this company to file details of investors reluctant company finally filed details which are found sbi uh, sbi to be fictitious it is widely perceived that company promoters used its, used its black money its own money to subscribe debentures each application was uh, was of rupees 20000 payment below 20000 can be legally done through cash and bank account is not required and there were truck load of application without any address repeated names same handwriting and pen used so as per the allegations promoter attempt promoter attempted to convert black money into white money this money once reached the company as debentures could have been uh, you know uh, disposed legally now let us briefly know about the hawala system so hawala system has its origin in south india more particularly in india this now extends to middle east asian countries far east and even latin america this an underground this is an underground cheap and instant medium to transfer huge amount of money it is cheaper and less cumbersome than formal uh, remittance channels such as banks western union or moneygram now this is supposed uh, this uh, there is supposed mr h a hawaldar based in india and his counterpart mr h b in dubai client in india comes to mr h a with cash to be remitted to recipient recipient in dubai after taking cash a code will be given to the client in india which will be communicated by him to recipient in dubai now recipient in dubai will communicate this code to mr h b and will get money note that there is no actual movement of cash mr h a and h b are maintaining the account among themselves and such transactions will be bidirectional they will settle this amount this account on some day in future in all this hawaldar will get commission of 0.25 to 1.5% of the funds transferred so obviously no paperwork or disclosure is required and money will be transferred under complete on an auto uh, an anonymity okay now hawala system is used by criminals businessmen non residents to remit the money this system is backbone of underworld also the drugs mafias terrorists smugglers etc now businessmen use its transfer money to evade the tax suppose someone in india by machine costing of rupees 1 crore from italy and custom duty is 16.67% so to avoid custom duty he might get import invoiced at rupees 50 lakh which will be paid through legitimate banking channel and custom duty will be paid on rupees 50 lakh so balance of 50 lakhs will be sent by hawala now politicians and bureaucrats are alleged to have cooperated with this system as they use this stash corruption money abroad India has one of the weakest laws in its regarding especially after repeal of prevention of terrorism act foreign exchange management act or FEMA treats hawala operations as civil offence and not criminal this is the main concern and the penalty is rupees is 3 times the fund involved this is despite of the fact that our political establishment is aware that this is the backbone of organized crime in india but under prevention of money laundering act hawala operations as criminal offence if the involvement in money laundering is established jain hawala scandals uh, you know they broke out in middle 1990 in the mid 1990 in which many politicians were implicated and more recently pune businessman hasan ali who had lot of political connections was arrested on charges laundering money through hawala a few years back uh, global financial integrity or gfi reported revealed that from 1948 to 2008 about us dollar 213 billion of black money was sent out of india and total money pegged about abroad including interest of this money was us dollar 462 billion 
we indians from beginning are obsessed with swiss bank holding most of this money right so after crash in global economy in 2008 resentment against tax havens and non cooperating countries such as switzerland was there in all victim countries so in g20 meetings which followed the crisis this was the central issue of negotiation and non cooperating countries were threatened by g20 countries of sanctions if they doesn't cooperate this remarkably changed stance of money of many countries and they agreed to share information now under this information revealed by switzerland claims amount of indians in its banking system to be merely around a uh, us dollar 2 billion now there is a strong possibility that either possessor of this money or uh, you know they diversified diversified its destination or money has been brought back to india through what is known as round tripping now let us understand what this entire round tripping is now let us understand what round tripping is so this is also a method of money laundering in which black money is sent abroad it moves from one country to another so that money trail becomes complex and original source is never discovered once this money gains legitimacy it is then brought back to india and there are some of the other methods which are also followed uh, when it comes to round tripping okay so we will discuss that in brief so as you all can see on your uh, computer screen the first one is participatory notes then rising capital by global depository receipts money coming from in, in ngos and charitable institutions then uh, about transfer uh, transfer pricing so we will discuss each of this one by one so speaking about participatory notes so participatory notes are the derivative instruments used by registered fii's now this question might come into your head what are um, inst what instruments are to get simple language mein aapko bataun कि जो आप चेक इशू करते हो ना बैंक में उसको भी एक इंस्ट्रूमेंट कहा जाता है लीगल वर्ड्स में लीगल टर्म्स में चेक हो गया या फिर आपका प्रोमिसरी नोट हो गई तो दिस आर नोन एज इंस्ट्रूमेंट सो पार्टिसिपेटरी नोट्स आर द डेरिवेटिव इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स यूज बाय रजिस्टर्ड एफ आई आर टू पर्सन इन फॉरिन कंट्रीज हु इन्वेस्ट इन इंडिया बट डोंट वॉन्ट टू गो थ्रू प्रोसीजर्स मैंडेटेड बाय एस now money moves from investors that is you know participatory note holder to fii's and then to indian stock markets as they remain outside the preview a uh, purview of secbi there uh, there are apprehensions that these are used for round tripping now foreign institutional investors are investors in financial markets and they need to get registered with secbi investment through participatory notes is allowed only if investor is registered with authorities of home country so there is ample of scope of verifying sources of such investments if other countries cooperate but any attempt towards this transparency results in significant outflow of fii's and crash in stock market so participatory mode of const participatory mode constitutes significant proportion of fii's investment at about 25% now speaking about raising capital by uh, global depository receipts so indian companies are allowed to raise capital from abroad by issuing gdrs these might be subscribed by persons who hold indian black money this will result in round tripping now speaking about money coming in ngo and charitable institutions so these are institutions that are treated a bit liberally in almost all countries in india they need to file annual return with home ministry in which they need to disclose name and address of foreign donors now case may be uh, maybe that the donor is xyz limited company in which shares are held by some other pqr limited this effectively conceals real source of money now speaking about transfer pricing this happens between related companies or firms in different countries let us understand this with example okay uh, so for example suppose mr a is given is in india having rupees 1 crore his accomplice uh, mr b is in singapore 
Now, Mr. A can buy some goods, machinery, etc., for rupees five crore using rupees one crore. One crore paid in cash and four crore in cheque. Okay. So then he transfers this machinery or goods to Mr. B at rupees four crore. Hence, money value of that rupees one crore is moved from his Indian office to Singapore office. Similarly, these transactions can be undertaken to bring money back in India. Now, income tax has also uh, has some provisions to treat these transactions at arm length price. But if transfer pricing is still a reality, now in all these cases, money will be uh, money will move back to India and will be treated as legitimate while its source may be illegal. So this is uh, the entire concept of round tripping. All right. So guys, that's all for this particular class. हमारे आगे आने वाले chapters में हम effects of black money on economy देखेंगे, then steps taken by government that is you know rationalizing income rates, then introduction of tax reduction as source TDS. We will also discuss voluntary compliance schemes. Then uh, we will also know about Indian joined uh, that is global crusade against black money etc. We will also briefly discuss. Special in about the special investigation team, so on and so forth. So, guys, that's all for this particular class. If you like this video, then do hit the like button. अगर आप हमारे अगर हम आप हमारे you know platform पे नए हो, then do hit the subscribe button. वहाँ पे notification bell आएगा, उसको भी press कीजिएगा, so that you can get notified every time we put any video on our YouTube channel. That thanks a lot for the, for the listening into this lecture, guys, and take care.